Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. This is a uh, follow up video. I don't know if you saw my video a while back on the Zimmy Smart Smart Curtains. The folks over at Zimmy Smart were kind of to send me these a while back and uh, wanted me to do a product review. So uh, we put one together and they work pretty great. We got them uh, controlled by Home Assistant and everything, but unfortunately, we were uh, unable to get Tasmoda installed. So I'm here to tell you guys uh, since I'm doing this follow up. With the new version of 2U Convert 2.0, I was able to uh, use that to get Tasmoda installed on these smart curtains. So let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video short and sweet because uh, we've already covered most of the aspect of the smart curtains. So uh, I'll have a link below to the original video if you guys missed it. We only got a few steps for this video, so we're going to start with uh, flashing uh, the curtains with uh, Tasmoda firmware. Once we do that, we'll configure Tasmoda. After that's done, then we're going to add it into Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so... To keep this video somewhat short, I'm actually not going to go through the steps of flashing this with Tasmoda, but what I am going to do is point you in the direction of DigiBlur's YouTube page. He just did a great video on updating to the latest version of Tuya Convert, as well as flashing a device uh, with the new version of Tuya Convert. And I'll have the link in the description below so that you can uh, check out his video. It'll run through all the steps. Once we get your uh, curtains flashed with Tesmoda, then we're gonna move on to that next step. All right, so once you get them flashed with Tesmoda and you get them added to your Wi-Fi network, the next steps is trying to figure out how to configure them so that they'll work with Tesmoda. Now, in the midst of all this, I ran across this, uh, this page that was done a few weeks back on, uh, on the Tasmoda GitHub page about somebody that had soldered uh, some pins on the dongle uh, on the uh, smart curtains and was able to uh, basically flash them with an FTDI adapter to Tasmoda. So I didn't want to have to go through all that, so I'm glad I was able to do it with 2U Convert 2.0. But what I did notice down here is at least had a few of the steps that I needed to make these curtains work properly with Tasmoda. We need to set this device to a Tuya dimmer, which is an option in the dropdown. And we're gonna change our RX and TX to the GPIO 15 and GPIO 13. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So here on my uh, curtains uh, web front end here with uh, Tasmoda, we're gonna go to configure module. And you need to have the module type set to Tuya dimmer. And like I said, we're going to move RX to be GPIO 13. So see it down there? It's a Tuya RX 108. And then a Tuya TX will be GPIO 15. Once we have those in there, we can go ahead and save it. Mine's already set that way, so I'm going to go back to configuration. Uh, but of course, it'll reboot. And then you want to go ahead and also check out uh, your MQTT just to make sure that everything is uh, set up properly for your MQTT server. That way you'll be able to get them added into Home Assistant here in the next step. Once we have all that in there, we can save it. And as you can see, it's basically treating these curtains like they are a dimmer. So uh, dark means it's all the way open. And if you slide it all the way to bright, that means it's closed. I'm okay with that because I'm basically just going to add it into Home Assistant and control it that way anyway. So I'm not going to use this configuration very often. But just to show you how it works, here we are. I've got my curtains up here. Got uh, Tasma here in the corner. We're going to slide that bar over to dark, which means it will open. And it works pretty good. Uh, slide it to the middle here, which should stop about halfway. Slide it all the way to bright, which of course is closed, and uh, closes it all the way. So as you can see, they are now functioning with Tasmoda. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move over to the next step.
All right, so when you add these into Home Assistant, you would normally, you're normally gonna use the cover component. The problem with that, at least in this case, and I'm sure that it will be resolved at some point, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet, is that it works great as a cover, but I have no way to stop it. So I don't know if you've used the cover component at all, but it has a uh, basically an up, a down, and then a stop so you can stop it whenever you want. At this point in time, that stop does not do anything. I'm okay with that. I have a workaround and I'm gonna show you that as well. All right, so we're gonna add our uh, MQTT cover component to our cover.yaml file here. Find an open spot if you don't already have one. The platform, of course, will be MQTT. The name, I'm calling mine Bedroom Curtains. You call yours whatever you want. Uh, the command topic. Now this will be what we configured in Tasmoda on the uh, Curtains uh, web front end. Mine is just zimmy slash cmnd slash bedroom dash curtains slash dimmer. Because as I said already, that is how Tasmoda is configuring these curtains as a dimmer. Set the retain to be true. And then of course the payload for this, we're going to say open is one. That's pretty much all the way open. And then uh, payload close will be 100 because that's all the way closed. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. Next, we're gonna add an input number. Now this is what I use as my workaround for not being able to have a functioning stop button on the cover. So I'm gonna edit my input number.yaml file here. And again, just find you an open spot. I'm gonna call this one the same way. The name of it's gonna be uh, bedroom underscore curtains. The name, of course, will also be bedroom curtains, call yours whatever you want. The minimum I'm gonna to set to one, the max I'm gonna to set to 100, and we're just gonna have a step of one. Once we have all that in there, go ahead and save that as well. All right, so in order to make the input number or slider work, we have to create an automation for that. So open up my automations.yaml file here. Uh, for the ID, I'm just gonna call it bedroom curtains because that's what the automation is for. Alias again will be bedroom curtains. You can call yours whatever you want. Uh, the initial state will be on. Uh, for the trigger, the platform is going to be state. Uh, for the entity ID, it will be that input number. So input number dot bedroom underscore curtains. Uh, for the action, the service is going to be mqtt dot publish. And of course, for the data, uh, the topic will be uh, zimmy slash cmnd slash bedroom dash curtains slash dimmer. This is what we had set up in Tasmoda. And then, of course, the payload template would be basically the state of that input number. So, states. Um, or input underscore number dot bedroom underscore curtains. Close out the parentheses, close everything out. And I'll have all this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. Once we have all that in there, we're gonna go ahead and save it. And we'll jump over here to the web front end here and just make sure that our config, everything looks good. We'll do a check config. And then, of course, restart Home Assistant for all these changes to take effect. Give that a few minutes to come back up, and we'll move on to that last step. All right, so here we are again in my bedroom. Now I've got Home Assistant down in the corner. 
And as you can see, I have uh, the cover for the bedroom curtains, which has the up arrow and the down arrow. Those both work. The stop in the middle does nothing, sorry. But we have a input slider, as you can see just below that, uh, that we can also move to a certain point if we want to. Like if you don't want it open all the way, you just move it how far you want it open or closed, and it should go to that point. And we're gonna show you how all that works here. For starters, we're gonna hit close. As you can see, they close immediately. Great response time, I'm loving that. Go ahead and hit open. They open all the way. Now we're gonna move it over here. Let's like, what, 82? Boom. Move it, uh, was it 21? As you can see, they opened to 21. Perfect. This is awesome. For me, this is great because I love having everything controlled within Home Assistant and out of the cloud as much as possible. So now that we have TAS mode on these, it makes these even better. Uh, I mean, again, the stop part doesn't work on, on the cover component, but I am completely okay with that. Honestly, for the most part, I'm just opening them all the way or closing them anyway. The input slider gives me options to open it any other way if that's what I want to do. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, this was just a quick follow-up. Uh, this was not intended. Uh, I didn't even plan on doing this video. Didn't uh, add it to my uh, October status update or anything because I didn't even think this was going to work. I just happened to try it, saw that it works uh, with the new 2U Convert, and had to let you guys know. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started by uh, flashing with Tasmoda, and I again will have the link uh, to DigiBlur's uh, YouTube channel page that uh, talks about the new to convert and shows you how to do all that in the description below. Next, we uh, just configured Tasmoda uh, to work with the new curtains. Uh, we had to make a few tweaks, and I showed you how to do that. Then we get it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, I just showed you what that looked like in action. I hope you liked the video. Um, I really like these curtains. Uh, they have actually worked out pretty well for me. And uh, it's just something cool to have. Obviously, it's not something I initially need in my house. But it is kind of neat. Have them automatically open in the morning, close at night. I love it. And now that we can control them with Tasmoda and out of the cloud, even better. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something to put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.